This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 9, Permanent Data Storage, Puzzle 9. Are properties case sensitive? I would assume so. Uh, you saw that you can add a property to an object, then store it in the database. The database will add a column to accommodate the new data value. If you end up with columns in your table that you don't want, you can delete them. Got it. Let's do another quick experiment to test the behavior of the database. What happens if you change how a property is spelled? Oh, well, it's not going to work. Uh, your code from the previous exercise is provided. Change title to title. Whoops, control Z undoes. That's what I'm going to do right now with a capital T and create your song object. Run the program, then go to database to see what happened. If there's a problem create created by changing the spelling, delete unnecessary columns. Yeah, so this is definitely going to add another column because it's going to treat this as a completely new property, like a new variable, right? So it's just the same as a variable. Capitalization matters. The computer sees it as something entirely different. Um, let's go ahead and, oh, we're going to run it. If you ever wonder why that is, it's because computers break things down eventually to ones and zeros and characters or letters and hyphens and everything is represented by you know a string of ones and zeros so a capital m and a lowercase m at its base level to the computer is the same as a equal sign and uh you know uh, the letter z honestly so let's check our database i ran it i can hit reset and Here's title, and now what happened? Title. So, if there's a problem created by changing, delete unnecessary columns and change your code back. Delete that, and then get rid of that. Delete. That is better. And then let's go back to our code and fix it. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going. 